Four months ago, I caught a flight from Monterey to Montreal in Canada. Since then, I've been to 11 countries and I've circumnavigated the globe. Again, I've come full circle, which can only mean one thing. Hola amigos, and welcome back to Mexico. Oh! Okay, it's been four months, but let's try some Spanish. Hola amigos, buenas tardes y bienvenido a México. Hoy es lunes tardes, estoy en Parque de Evolución en Guadalajara, in the state of Jalisco, the home of many things, such as tortas ahogadas, tequila, to name but a few. You have to come here. I was here about 13 months ago, and I'm just back for one day before I go back to Mexico City. If you are new to this channel, I'm David, I'm 37. I'm from London in the UK originally, as you can probably tell from my accent, and I've been traveling full time for almost three years now while working online to sustain myself. A lot of my videos are from countries like Japan, Indonesia, Colombia, but predominantly about a third of my videos are from Mexico. So you can check out the playlist somewhere up above. So you'll probably notice from recent videos, and if you watch the ones in Paris, I talked a lot about the fact that my view around videos and doing videos has very much changed over the summer. I'm much more relaxed about it. So today I've just spent the afternoon walking around, taking lots of shots, and I'm just gonna sit down now and talk about a subject that is very, at the forefront of my mind, you know, and it's very much connected to the last video I did in Mexico, which was in Jerez. Eagle-eyed viewers might notice that I'm wearing the same t-shirt for a good reason. So that video was all about home and the fact that after so long in Mexico, it felt like Mexico had become my home. And the last four months have been ridiculous. So much has happened and it feels like four years, you know. So coming back to Mexico a couple of days ago was a rather strange experience you know I was kind of expecting just to slip back into everything you know just like it was yesterday where I was in Jerez but actually I had a different experience I felt like I was a novice in Mexico again and you know I didn't know how to do things and I was worried about speaking Spanish and just little things and very quickly though <laughs> things began to change I walk, walked down the street on my first day here and I smelt a taqueria in the distance any Mexicans you'll know that smell personifies Mexico. I walked along, I would see signs on shops with vocabulary, words that I remembered from before and I was surprised that I could actually remember these things. And gradually things started to return to me. And even now, I'll be honest, you know, it doesn't feel like I'm fully back home, if you know what I mean. I think it's gonna take some time, but it's definitely getting there. I've spent today purposely walking around Guadalajara looking at the amazing architecture, looking at all the stalls and, you know, Dia de Muertos is coming, there's all the little skulls everywhere. And purposely I've been trying to talk to locals in my, you know, my limited Spanish, just to try and bring my confidence back up again. I think when we leave a country as, as long-term travelers, or, you know, even if you come to Mexico on a vacation and then come back a year later, you worry that, you know, you're gonna take some time in terms of adjustment. But I guess I'm finding that it's actually coming to me. I think it will take some time, as I said. When I left Mexico four months ago, I said that I really wanted to travel again. And some of you were not negative about it, but were like, well, why do you want to leave Mexico? Because, you know, a lot of people that come to Mexico in terms of YouTube will stay in Mexico, and that's great. But for me, this channel and my life has always been about travel, and you go in cycles. So I had a great time here the last time. I was here for six months, but I got to the point where I had had enough. I wanted to move on and I spent four months in amazing places like Paris for the first time. I discovered my heritage in Belgrade. I went to Hong Kong during all the protests. I had absolute dramas in Indonesia. There will be a video coming about that, I promise. I went to, back to Malaysia for a month and ended up in Japan, which I never thought I would have the opportunity to go to again. And now I'm back here. So much has happened and I think that's why I kind of feel like in that adjustment mode because part of my head 
is still here, but part of my head has been on that journey all around the world again. And during those videos that I did over the summer, particularly in Japan, I said about doing things that make you happy. And I absolutely reinforce that right now because I wanted to come back to Mexico quite simply because I wanted to. It's a place that I feel comfortable. It's a place that I feel at home. What is home, you know? Is home a place or is it a feeling? That's the question. And I think Mexico for me isn't necessarily about the place, it's about the feeling that it gives you. In Japan, I kind of remembered a thought that I had when I was there before that Japan is great for a short trip, but it's not necessarily somewhere that I would stay for a long time. And I couldn't put my finger on the reason why, and I still can't. And it's the same with Mexico. I can't put my finger on the reason why I enjoy Mexico so much. Um, so I'm back another six months hopefully, lots of places to visit. I will be going to Mexico City next, as I said, um, very much to work over the next couple of months. Oaxaca for the in Huertos. January I'm going to Acapulco again. There's a surprise coming with that. And um, then I will be doing a bit more travel um, around Mexico before leaving again and probably coming back. It's an endless cycle, as I said. Um, yeah. Before we go for something to eat, I want to give you my thoughts again about Guadalajara. I'm always quite honest and raw and controversial sometimes, people often don't like my opinions, but Guadalajara is not my favourite city in Mexico. It's um, it's nice in terms of great architecture and churches and cathedrals, that's amazing, very colourful, but it doesn't have the same magic that, say, somewhere like Zacatecas or San Luis has. For me, you know, obviously it will be different for you, you'll have different opinions. Um, and the word I would use to describe it would be gritty. There is homelessness, there is poverty, the streets are dirty. It's not as pretty as a lot of places in Mexico, but actually, is that what you want to see when you come to Mexico or any country? Do you want to see, you know, everything glammed up just for foreigners? No, you don't. You want to see real life. And as a result, I would definitely recommend Guadalajara for a place to visit when you come to Mexico. Um, we're going to go and have something to eat now because I'm absolutely starving and I might die if I don't eat anything. So let's get going. Okay, I fancy some tortas ahogadas or tacos y barbacoa. I can't pronounce anything today. Um, there's some places just over there, I think. Let's see what we can get. Personally, I always find that finding some local food when you come back to a place is the best way of reintegrating yourself back into life in that country. Let me know down in the comments what you do when you go back to a country. That might help me in future. Thank you. <laughs> so I found this little place beneath Tower Plaza. As you can see, there's all the Dia de Muertos flag thingies up there, ready for Dia de Muertos in uh, Dos Semanas. And we have some classics here, Tacos Barbacoa, which um, I believe there's a particular type of Barbacoa tacos that is sold here in Guadalajara. Thanks to one of my viewers for recommending that, by the way. Um, of course, we've got other things, chorizo, one of my favorites, and lots of other dishes there. Beautiful, let's eat. So I have my favorite chorizo tacos, and that's Barbacoa. Let's have a look at that in a minute. And basically, when you get it, you just get the tacos and then you can come to the uh, bit and serve yourself with onions, salsa, limon, cilantro, and I can't see what that is. <laughs> so um, let's load my tacos up. Okay, let's start with some salsa. Beautiful. It's a different color that I'm used to. Let me know what this is in the comments. I'm used to roja and um, verde. Let's have some cilantro or um, coriander in UK world. Oh, a bit much, but never mind. I love cilantro, by the way. And a little bit of onion, not too much. Yeah, that'll do. So here are my tacos. So the barbacoa, um, which is now drenched in salsa, by the way, is usually beef, lamb, or goat. Um, and many people believe that because it sounds like barbecue, it's like done on a grill. But from what I understand, it's not. It's the steaming or baking process. So it's it's cooked in a different way. It's not on a grill. Um, let's suck in <laughs> tacos. Okay, and the tacos barbacoa is double taco, double tortilla even. And this is the first appearance of this type of taco on this channel, FYI. Mm -hmm. OMG to the max. Must admit, I've used a bit too much salsa, but I'm fine with that. And it's a bit crispy, you know. It's not like, um, it's not as soft as, you know, tortilla I'm used to. Mm -mm -mm. What a mess. Holy moly. 
this is definitely um, bringing back my love of Mexico and making me feel more at home. Mm. Absolute heaven. The best. Mm. And of course, the way you eat tacos, you don't bring it to your mouth, you put your head to the taco. Mm. Oh my god. I've forgotten how good proper Mexican chorizo is. I saw some in Japan. Trust me, you do not want to see it. Mexicans would be offended. But this is beautiful. Mm. <laughs> Gracias, amigo. Muy delicioso. <laughs> Guess where I am, amigos? It's another thing that makes me, oh, there we go, happy to be back in Mexico. It's Oxo. And I use my classic line, Tengo solo 200 pesos, amigo. I only have 200 pesos. Whenever I want just a bottle of squirt, or fresca, or a hot dog, or just a, a thing of queso Oaxaca to eat at 3 o'clock in the morning, I only have 200 pesos on, on me, but it's all good. I can't get the lid off. Squirt. Mexico just revitalized itself in me. All I need is some mezcal, right? Mm. I've walked out of Centro now, going back home. As you can see, this is the Mexico we know and love. Residential streets, colorful buildings, artwork in the distance, cathedrals and churches over the top of all the buildings, and people just going about their daily life. This is what Mexico is all about. <laughs> Right, so I know this has been a bit of a simple video. We will get back to more extravagant videos once we get back to Mexico City. And on the subject of that, on the back of the last videos in Japan where I was with one of my English students, there will be many videos coming up with other people in. How exciting. There's two YouTube channels I will be collaborating with as well as someone I'm going to Acapulco with. If you are in Mexico City or indeed Oaxaca for Didi Muertos, message me on Instagram if you want to be in a video. That would be great because I really want to, you know, focus on having other people in videos rather than just me. Let's face it, you don't want to look at this for the whole video. So, uh, yeah, do that. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Hasta luego. <laughs>